Okay, well, welcome back. This is Tech again, and here we go. This will be, I believe, part four starting out, and maybe five, six, and who knows how much, but kind of getting going. One apology, um, I did put up parts uh, one, two, three, obviously, and with part three, I know it was a little short, but that was because I kind of had a bit of leftover footage from my previous recording, and um, I just wanted to go ahead and get it up real quick so I can kind of then start this session and record out, you know, three, four, maybe five episodes, who knows. So anyway, where we left off, one thing I know, because I went back and watched the other three episodes, uh, well, all hell's breaking loose, and I'm not just talking about my wife's dress size here, but um, we need to, first of all, I need to get my new spy master going, and we're going to put him on the spy network over here. Um, well, here's a new development. I guess... Numnuts died. Yep. He died. He was maimed. Okay, well he died and now his daughter has taken over. So... who's two? So I really need these guys to come through. I need to get a, get a claim going there. Let's go ahead and start it up here a little bit and see if we can get something to happen over in Rama. Um, so we got all that stuff going all right. Now one thing, this the whole wife thing still has got me bummed. I, I, I need her to have a child badly. She needs to freaking... Let's go. Um... One thing I noticed, though, is she is Hungarian, so... Yeah. I gotta be careful with that to a certain degree, because obviously Hungary is sitting right there. So I can't go, like, assassinating her or something, because then... <laughs> just asking for it at that point. So I gotta be careful about that. Uh, my king here... He's getting older, it looks like. 50... Well, he still has a higher opinion of me than the... I think he actually has a negative opinion of the girl over here. No, oh, no. Only eight, though. So if I, if I could get something to happen, we would still be in good shape. Uh, let's look. Okay, we got everybody. All right. We got everybody going. Our money is going pretty good. Let's invite another noble and see if we can just get lucky. Because I do need some upgrades. Uh, Solven. Let's take a look at Solven. Court. Solven. 14 stewardship. Uh-oh. Not what I really need, but... I have 14. I already have a 14 steward. So that actually doesn't even help me at all. 12, and that's not... Yeah, that doesn't... Does not help. But I guess he could be a backup if something suddenly happens to that guy. I mean, he's not terrible, so that's, you know... Alright, what we got here? My liege, I have good news for my mission to... that place. <laughs> Krizovix? I mean, how do you pronounce that? It's Z-E-V-C-I. How does V-C... how is V-C-I pronounced? Vic... Vicky? I don't know. During my visit to the court of Bishop Igor of Oslojek... Oslojek? I have filled his ears with poisonous slander, blah blah blah. Okay, so he's lessened his opinion of the Pope, which is good. So... Uh, oh, so I got a double banger. He negative 10. That's a full 35 point swing, actually. That is pretty good. This guy right here. He, and whoa, he's, he's got it close. So actually I can start... I can start getting, I mean, I'm already turning this, uh, 
Bishop break money, I can start turning this one. Let's pause this so I don't lose money here. The funny thing is, is that I'm going to get both of my other bishops uh, from two of my counties. I'm going to start getting the money from them, but my actual court chaplain is like completely out of reach at this point. And that's mainly because of the... Where is it at? Well, the cruel gave me... Getting that cruel trait gave me a negative 10. Uh, and then Zealous versus Cynical. Yeah, but I can I can change this guy really quick and get this guy. What's his stats look like? Pretty much sucky. <laughs> um, yeah, this guy I can just bribe him. Let's just or just give him a gift. Um, that'll finalize that up. I can afford that, so we just do that and. Bam! I'll make that 20, uh, 20 gold back. Because he is... Which one is he? Ostjek, this one here. So... Yeah, we gotta get it going, I guess. Before it'll actually calculate, I believe. There we go, Ostjek. Um... The yearly tax is 2.8, so... I guess actually 20 gold. It might have been better to give him a title because I guess that's going to take me a a couple of years to get that money back. But I, it'll, um, actually the amount could increase too, so it's still worth it though. Instead of losing money for that time period and gaining it, so I'm up to 325 a month. Booyah! All right. Uh, there's never been a shortage of soldier reinforcing the troop. Okay, so. He's got a reinforcement bonus rate going on there. We might want to... Let me switch him to military tech right now. Um, I was doing the, the train troops hoping that these guys would come through in the ramp, but they're obviously over there freaking playing cards or some nonsense. You know, ever since I lost the spy master, my other spy master, Dr. Sivlav, or whatever, <laughs> He was tearing things up over there, and then he dies at 28 from eating a hamburger or something. Actually, he was probably assassinated, I bet. But Well, I mean, at least that's a good sign. Um, I want to have a son, and she wants to have a daughter. So that means something should <laughs> come out of that at some point here, hopefully. Um... Man, we're just not getting anything happening, are we? How's Hungary feel about us right now? Nine? Okay, that's alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? Is he having a revolt or something? Army? Uh, it looks like some of the Hungarians are fighting against each other here, it looks like. Attacking King David. Attackers, Prince, Count... Ooh, he's got three dudes. It looks like three different, um... A Prince and a couple of Counts. Prince Geza. Is that his... Like... I'm not sure who that is. Uh, my liege. Been a good success. Oh, so he... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm in the stratosphere now. Actually, what you can do, and I believe this works... Uh, Pope died. Wonderful. Um, well, oh, jeez. The Pope died, and actually that does help me, because look at this. They all dropped from that high number down to 31, because they, they're not a, a big fan of the new guy. And um, so now I could actually end up getting my chaplain up over 31. I mean, that's... That's, that's not too... That's not too bad. I mean, I could... I could pay him and get it, but but now these guys are just like crazy high. One thing you can do though is I can send him he's the bishop of Lud Ludbrig right? Which is uh, I think it's this north one, right? Yeah, Ludbrig. I can just send him there to uh, to improve relations with himself. I believe that does work. I think I did that in a previous game I played, where he can go there and 
and basically have conversations with himself and convince himself that <laughs> he needs to pay taxes to me or else let's um I'm telling you what I'm really kind of getting fed up with this situation over here let me check something oh there we go all right so what's going on here I think we finally had a breakthrough it looks like so let's decide what we're gonna do my liege my work in Rama seems to have come to fruition took about enough time by bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents, I managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Rama presently held by Duchess. Uh, yeah, I leave it up to you. So I can go ahead and use it. It's going to cost me 38 gold, which is no big deal, because I'm at 260 right now. But I'll lose 100 prestige, which kind of sucks, but for the purposes of my expansion, it's more important. I mean, I have 94, 94 prestige right now, so I'm going to tank in the hole just a little bit. Um... But that's that's okay. I mean, because if I get it, I'm gonna I'm gonna gain the prestige back fairly quickly, and I need to get this other county. So I'm going to use this, and we're gonna pause for a second, and um, we are going to double check. Let's make sure that we have. Okay, she doesn't like me, that's fine. He only has an opinion of 8 with her, but he has an opinion of 24 with me, so we should be okay there. And uh, I doubt she's going to have any kind of backup at all. I'm going to switch him to sow descent, because he's done with that, so he's going to sow descent there. And the spy network is fine for now. And we are going to try to make a move here and hope everything doesn't just instantly implode and blow a hole in the middle of the map on us. So what we are going to do here... It's time for war! Let's... I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do prep-wise. I don't believe so. And if I try to assassinate her, I know, I know, I know, she's a kid. And at 36, I'm not gonna... No, we're not gonna do that. Okay, let's see. If we win, we get it. If we lose, or make peace, a bunch of bad things happen. We shall not lose. Okay, so again, you can see here, claim Rama, because our boy forged a bunch of documents and paid people off. So, bam. We are at war. So, we can call in allies. Count Veglia. Okay, our blood relation over here. We can call him in to help if we want. Um, I don't think that will be necessary. So... We are going to raise our troops here. And now my understanding the difference between raising vassal levies and realm levies is realm levies, I believe you have to pay for those partially. If you raise the vassal levies, you don't have to pay for them. They have to pay for them. I believe that's the difference between these two options. In my, tut in my tutorial series, I, I wasn't real clear about that. At this point, I have a lot of money, so I don't really care. I want as max troops as I can get. Let's pull these two guys over to there. I mean, I'm dang near tempted to pull up mercenaries, but I don't think it's going to be required. I paused the video there for a second because my frame rate was tanking. I don't know if Fraps was just trying to change... <laughs> change... Uh, for any of you that don't use Fraps, Fraps kind of records in like, I think it's like 3 or 4 gig chunks, so it'll, it, it won't make a video, you know larger than like say three gigs so it is three gigs and that's why when you watch people's videos sometimes you'll see like slight pauses every once in a while that's that's fraps cycling to the next chunk so anyway back to the war um good talk let's see uh all right we're good i think so let's go ahead and unpause this uh girl you're 277 that's not gonna cut it 
let's, um, where does it say? And one th this is one little tip on the wharf th thing that I didn't discuss before, is if you hover over a troop when you're fighting somebody, like this 277, you can hover over their little, you know, tag here or whatever, and you can see where they're trying to go. And see, it shows that she'll arrive, they will arrive in Usora, Usora, so they're heading to here. So they're going away from my army. So what I want to do is I'm, I'm trying to look at how I have these split up here because she's gonna they're gonna try to come around behind so I need to have like two groups I think so if I put like um um let's just merge them all together for a second and send them in there, and then I'll split them off. I'll just do that at first. Because there's no way that, that 277 is going to take anything before I can react. Okay, what's this? To the most illustrious Duke Dimathar. That's right. The good burgers of cake town are barely able to pay their taxes. Her coffers are empty. I humbly ask that you lower taxes for your cities. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know... You know, I don't need to take this... I don't need to deal with you right now, dude. Um... I'm gonna bribe him. It's cheaper for it this second. Okay, stop, pause. Okay, he's over there. So we need to s do some... We need to make another unit. Let's send... And that... How many is it? 277? So I got two armies of around 400. I'll leave the 422 banging on here, and I'm gonna send that 406 over there to get rid of that. And oh, I guess it would help if I unpaused it, wouldn't it? So let's watch and see how this pans out. We got the battle going on over here. We had enough numbers, I think, to pull that out. Come on, finish him off. Okay. Try to chase him down if we can. Finish those guys off. Two? Did all right. So we will send them back now. It, it's so f goofy how you, they will send. You know, t you know, four guys came running out. Ah, and <laughs> you cut them down in two seconds. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I guess that's just the reinforcement rate for that county. That's it's you know it's popping them out. So, let's see, she got the 53%. Once we get occupation, it'll be pretty quick. Oop, there we go. We oppose the following peace offer. I gain the county of Rama. Excellent. And as you noticed on that, I mean, 
hopefully for people watching this, as you noticed, I mean, I was able as a duke to take over another county within my area as long the key factor to that is making sure that the king likes you more than who it is you have a claim on that you attack. Because if, if the king would have liked her more than me, he would have jumped in and stopped me probably. So, we accept. And I have usurped the county of Rama. Uh, the war is ended. I gained the county of Rama. And I guess she is then at my court. I've got some people that have all come to court as a result. That is good. So, let's pause for just a second here.